Oh, y'all. I just wanted to. I figured if chat's watching this, wanted to. I don't know, miss them. And uh, I got some videos I'll, I'll show you of Rio. That's the little dog. Uh, I'm, I'll explain it when I give you, uh, show you Rio. Anyway. Um, but anyway, I've been running myself ragging with the little dog. Boy, little dogs and big dogs just, especially when they're like puppies, they, boy, they'll run you ragging <laughs> like little kids. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, I just want to say, uh, hey, Chuck, when it comes to that fishing stuff, don't you dare do a videotape of it and show it to me. No. <laughs> Bro, watch it, boy. <laughs> I might do some videotaping of some nice fish myself. <laughs> or something. Anyway. Uh, and as to you others out there, uh, see, Chet had to go to Michigan because, you know, visit some family. Uh, I'm going to be, he's going to be gone about two, three weeks or so because, uh, you know, he's, I couldn't go with, you know, my health won't allow me to, you know, couldn't, couldn't deal with that, let alone, you know, because he had to go by bus, you know, he like me, don't like planes, don't like trains, and so if you have a, a choice, and don't particularly like buses, but if you had a choice between those three, it'd be bus, you know, uh, they're all hassles, but the bus is just a little, I just say a little less hassle than a plane or a train, especially the planes. You know, they got to make you stand in lines for hours and hours in and ends and going through all that rigmarole for um, uh, checking your luggage and this and that. And then if one person uh, steps out of bounds by not realizing that they did the wrong thing by having the wrong thing in their baggage or somebody runs through there and not thinking, you know, because they see somebody, hey, hey, Joe. Next thing you know, they're getting tackled and everything. And everybody's scattered and the whole thing's disrupted. <laughs> and, you know, then there might be a crazy wacko on her. You never know. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. You know, in other words, hassles. So, anyway, couldn't deal with the bus things, you know, just too much. And Chad even found out a little bit more about that. He had uh, one bus broke down. He was out there at the bus station to, to wait on the bus. <laughs> Poor guy, he had, to, he had to wait for a good long while for the bus. They sent another bus. Then he had to do that, and then he got him to the one place, and then... Uh, there's a whole bunch of people because of that one bus uh, messed everyone else up, and the one thing, uh, big old mess. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Jack, I want to tell your family, uh, your, 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 I'm going to tell the, I'm going to tell all of them more, you know, those like, be sure you keep him in line. He's he can be a naughty divins. <laughs> uh, anyway, hey, miss you. You take care. And um, oh yeah, there was someone uh, on her comment about one of the videos that I did sometime back. It was a response. Excuse me, response video about something that I did that was concerning the Sabbath, you know, and, 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 and the, the laws and stuff, and someone sat there and said, well, you know, that uh, about Paul, you know, that he didn't disregard one of the ten, about the Ten Commandments and stuff, you know, and, and I think the, the whole thing was on this person's part was their comment, that is, was trying to defend keeping the Sabbath. Well, first of all, we're not Gentiles. I mean, 
We're not Jews. Excuse me. I'll get on the right page. Just a minute. But anyway, we're, we're not we're not Jews, and even Paul said, you know, that no one can live according to the law by the letter of the law. I mean, you know, but when we obey the spirit of the law, that is, when we, especially when we keep the royal law, we we keep the whole law. You know, we're just, we don't do the sacrifice and everything, you know, and I could say much on that. I could go on and on and on and on. But, anyway, I think the person probably didn't understand what I was getting at or what I was saying. Probably confusing y'all bunch, too. <laughs> but, anyway, the thing is, is one day is esteemed higher than another. Uh, to to one person, one you know might see one day special unto the Lord, the other one another day, etc., etc., etc. So, you know, basically a lot of people don't understand. You know, they want to try to enforce uh, a person to keep the Sabbath as in as in the letter of the law. No, no, no. But if you want to keep the Sabbath because you see it special to the Lord, then do so unto the Lord. If you see um, a Monday as a special unto the Lord, then do so. You know, and on and on. Uh, but see, some people, they, they get the wrong notions and they want to try to enforce something on somebody where it's something that they can't, you know, it, it's, it's like trying... Uh, like in Paul's day, where the Jews, uh, Jewish leaders and stuff, who was seeing that you couldn't be saved unless you were circumcised and kept the law of Moses and stuff like this. Well, they was kind of like putting that stuff on the Gentiles, some of them. Of course, you know the story in history. You know, I'm not telling you something you don't know. But anyway, uh, the whole point is, you can't do that. I mean, because it's just like what happened in Paul's day. you got people doing that today. And remember, if someone wants to keep the Sabbath, don't knock them down. And, and if they want to, someone don't keep the Sabbath, but keeps has a special day to the Lord, then don't knock them down. As long as they keep it special, sacred unto the Lord, that's what matters. But, you know, never knock anyone, you know, because there are a lot of people knocking down uh, people for keeping the Sabbath. Well, I think there's a special blessing in it myself. But I never said I was against keeping the Sabbath. I just said that you can't expect people to put people under that burden, you know, uh, trying to put a, a, the like, as in the letter of the law, on people. Now there's a lot of people that will teach the Ten Commandments in such a way that they make their own selves a hypocrite because they don't keep them. You know, and they'll say the Sabbath, but yet they try to take the first day of the week and make it a seventh day. You can't do that. So if you're going to teach the Ten Commandments in such a way as the letter of the law, hammer force down, and you're going to teach that, then keep it. But if you're not going to, you you mess up on one, you mess up on them all. So you need to think before you, you speak and act out of turn. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm for the commandments. But if you love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, in other words, with your whole being, and, and love your neighbor as yourself, the whole law hangs. On what? Those two. Ah, you got the Bible. I ain't no sense of going into a whole bunch of things there. Uh, this video is mainly was to, to say hi to Chet. Hi! <laughs> and I um, want to uh, Chet, I want you to know, miss you. Anyway, <laughs> um, take care, and uh, also all your brothers and sisters in Christ out there, I hope that you have a great day, and uh, a little 
suggestion. Don't ever knock anybody out for keeping a special day to the Lord. I'm not saying any of y'all specifically are. I just know there's some people out there on YouTube and everywhere else around in the world that does. So, let us think before we act. That's what I like to do about my video. It's just giving something for you to think about and for myself to think about. Okay? So, anyway, uh, God bless you all. And uh, shalom and... I hope.